All right, let's do this. Um, okay. Huh. Interesting. Okay, okay. We have like, we got like two nice options here that I see, okay? With this with this nice little setup. Getting an early game Goober would be good. We also got the whetstone on sale. So that could easily turn into a um, into a still Goober, right? We could do like a bow and arrow, still Goober type build. Um, Walrus Tusk, Tusk and Piercer, you feel me? That's always a great choice. However, the really fun choice would probably be the hammer, especially since we already got a piggy bank. We can already start off with that early game economy build, which can be really nice. And then hammer just early is good, right? So we have options here. I'm thinking we go with hammer because that's the funnest one out of all three options we have here. I'm saying we go with hammer and we can still utilize these two items that's on sale. Um, Goober, hammer, don't really know if that's like a build. That's a thing. I don't really see a lot of people rocking a Goober when they have a hammer build. So we're probably just going to pass up on that. We can go ahead and sell the sword, keep the lucky clover. And boom, boom. How much gold we got left? Three. Which one's more valuable, Tuscan Piercer or Whetstone? I mean, the hammer by itself already does the 8 to 12 damage. So getting that Whetstone just for that plus 1 damage doesn't really mean much to me, especially if I'm not going to use it on a, on a sword, right? Um, Because 8 to 12 is like, like it, it's basically 9 to 13 at that point. Like, there's really not that big of a difference. Spikes, on the other hand, is a big difference. I'll take that. And I'm honestly just not going to buy that at all. We'll roll here. And I'm thinking we'll probably go with space because backpack space is good. Um, garlic can be nice. You know, at least one garlic and like two bananas I feel safe with. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up that garlic. And um, I think that's pretty much everything that we're going to do. This is a very interesting start. Hopefully we'll be able to not miss and beat this guy. So far, so good. Oh, my God. 24 critical on his dome is insane and we get the bunch of coins which is nice let's get that space so let's get the garlic and we can also get the wooden buckler uh for the sake because we already got the walrus tusk we can turn that into a spike shields and then garlic on the side is good don't want either of those so i'm gonna roll here um i say we probably pick up the piggy piggy is nice and that's probably about it honestly i mean i could roll again in hopes of getting a clover i want to have at least one lucky pig on my hammer maybe two if i can get lucky um and we also should probably roll for daggers as well daggers is a rare item right if i'm not mistaken the dagger itself is a yeah it's a rare and right now our rare chance is looking like 15 percent. that's not very high um so we might not actually roll for a dagger until that 15 percent comes to like 40 maybe 30 40 percent something like that i will pick up the banana because of stamina and funny pack is always just a good thing to have and uh we'll just roll with that see how this goes oh this guy's got the leather armor though he's also got a little bit more dps than the last guy um so survivability wise is gonna hurt us we might actually lose this because of that unless the shield and spikes can really come in clutch at the very last and we just missed there there's no way unless we can crit again okay almost we almost had it we almost had it if we would have been able to crit again we might have had that one um but yeah sell a bunch of coins banana fanny pack what's we'll our 20 percent still not high um but i mean i can get a lucky pig here which is nice that is very nice should we go with the box of riches when you're doing a hammer build i actually don't know i actually don't know the only thing I can see that being beneficial for it would be the blue jewels because I want to get spectral daggers, right? So getting blue jewels could be cool, but I say we just go leather bag here for next round instead of trying to go um, and try to going like, you know, uh, the freaking I can't say it. The box of riches instead of going box of riches, I say we just go fa uh, leather bag and we'll just rock with this. I... Now that we have banana, I'm feeling a little bit more confident, especially going against this guy. We should be able to kill this guy fairly quickly. I mean, we got spike shields. They got two different forms of DPS. They got minimum food, and it's just a poison build at the end of the day. So we should be able to out DPS as long as we don't miss and we can crit. Come on, missing. No, the blind. No, the freaking blind, bro. What is that? 50% accuracy. Crazy. Crazy. I mean, it, may, it does make sense, though. I can't, I can't knock it. It doesn't make sense. But now we have ourselves a lucky pig which is dope i will pick up the blueberry for the sake of getting spectral daggers um and i will pick up space let's roll on that there goes our first dagger hello leah hey loco <laughs> how's my discord kitten doing today my lady what the fuck? 
Nah, you're wild. <laughs> you're fucking wild. What the hell? How's my Discord getting doing today, milady? <laughs> nah. Nah. Anyways, hopefully I can get myself a health potion soon. Um, but that dagger does increase our DPS a quite a bit. I don't want to roll here. I don't want to risk it. And roll. Hopefully we'll be fine though. Going against Thorn Whip plus Claws of Attack is a little bit interesting. I will say. Um, but we do have a higher chance of stunning, which is great. And then the dagger increased DPS is even better. So we'll take that one home. Good game. Gloves of Haste could be nice. Oh, I mean, we got... I mean... Let me see here. We have three slots of space right now. Five. We have five slots of space. I say we just get Fanny Pack instead of Leather Bag. I do want Gloves of Haste, but I don't want it now. I want it later on. That's when I really, really want it. I could also get a banana here. I think we're good on bananas now. Roll. Hmm. I said we go piggy bank. I think that's the obvious choice here. For sure. Just to get that extra three gold. And I think that's good. I think that's good. And then we back both of those up right there. Um, I'm actually going to move this over here i believe no 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 no. that doesn't work does it no 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 no. what well, kind of does work i'm just gonna put it on here just so i can get you know i'm trying to maximize the amount of space that i have as much as possible i can move the banana here boom 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 like that that works for me and reserve space again just so we can buy it and uh that should be straight going against ripshaw blade shovel with the dagger Ooh. Can we come out on top here? Can we come out on top here? Holy crap, that was a bit critical on his part. Come on, we can't keep missing like this. We cannot keep missing. There we go. Stun him again. Stun him again. One more stun. Let's go. That was a nice W. Oh, and we got another dagger. Beautiful. All right. Let's do that. Let's get space. The dagger. Give me a health potion. Game doesn't want to give me a health potion, which is very, very sad right now. Um... What we can do, I, I do want to get the mana orb, but I don't want to get it now. We're going to need the mana orb for the mana generation for the spectral daggers, but we don't have any spectral daggers, so it's kind of pointless getting the mana orb for something we don't have or have a need for. So I say we just get this blueberries because we have two spectral daggers, or we want to get two spectral daggers. Um, hmm. This on sale is kind of nice. I say we get that just because it's on sale. And we can go ahead and get another piggy bank for the bunch of coins. Roll. The game is... The game needs to give me a health potion, okay? That's all I want right now, game. One health potion is all I need to be happy in the world. I would also like an acorn color, but... Without me having those special daggers right now, I feel like I need the hard pull for it. Um, because that's a very essential part of DPS for us. Looks like we're going against another poison build. We did upgrade our DPS slightly by having that extra dagger on the field. Um, so we should be able to take this one home. Ah, there we go. There we go. Good game, bro. All right. And another dagger. Um, I'm going to roll here. Okay, finally, first health potion, which is great. Getting a stamina potion could also be great, especially if we end up running out of stamina by making the hammer faster. That can help us a lot. And we can go ahead and do that now as well. And since we're talking about making a hammer faster, we might as well make the hammer faster. Um, and we can move the food situation we have going on over here instead. Um, something like this will work. And let's see here. This dagger isn't in the critting box though, which does not make me happy. And then I do want to get the heroic potion. I do want to get a stamina potion. Usually I don't rock stamina potions, but considering I kind of do want to get it. Um, we did get another mana orb, which we're going to need that mana orb for the spectral dagger. So I feel like we might as well pick it up now versus later. And then, you know, stamina sack is, uh, is good just for stamina and for space, which is great. I know I could mid max this somehow, some way. I know it's possible, but I'm just going to bypass it for now because I feel like uh, I feel like we're solid. I feel like we're solid. Going against another poison mill. That's going to be a lot of poison. Mana Thirst plus Shovel. He's also got Spike Shields on the play. We don't really have that much healing, um, but our DPS is solid. And then, you know, having that stamina potion there really did help us a lot. So, hell yeah. 
That would be a nice W. Piercing arrow is a good W. Holy. Okay, hold up. I do want to get the special dagger. We might as since we have three daggers, we might as well get a bloody dagger too, right? Like that's just a might as well situation. Um, we don't really necessarily need to buy the mana orb right now because we still don't have a use for the mana orb until next round once we get that spectral dagger. So, I say we probably just get stamina sack and we also get blood amulet. I feel like those are already the two good choices we could choose right now. Um, also, I feel like it's... Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and just separate the hammer from the the rangers attack i want the daggers the dagger is going to be the main form of dps and i want the daggers to be in a ranger bag not necessarily the hammer being inside the ranger bag so that's pretty much my plan um i wish i had me another uh oh i can still i can still make this work i can still make this work just something like this will work that's fine right and then we can sort these like so something like that um you can go there actually now that'll work for me Actually, doing it like this is probably better, but then it's not touching it. So <laughs> we're just going to keep it like that for now. Um, Yeah, that's good. And we can turn you into a bloody dagger. That can go up there. You, this guy can go right there. And then the rest will essentially just be for food. Like that. Um, Or I can uh, do it like that instead. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is looking decent. Getting a leather armor could be nice too. Considering it's on sale. And eventually turning it into the vampiric armor could be cool. Maybe even having a, a, a moon shield could be nice too. Depending. I'm gonna buy it. It's on sale. That's the only reason I'm buying it. Just because it's on sale. Do we need another blueberry? Hmm. I actually don't know if we need another blueberry. I don't think we do, so I'm not going to buy it, but I will buy the potion bag or the potion belt. I will get that. All right, what are we going against? Looks like a uh, crit wood staff with a dagger, a hero sword and a bunch of torches. Huh? Should I upgrade this? The horror potion? What is it? OK, it gives me two more stamina. Um, Might not be that bad of a choice to be honest because eventually we're just going to get rid of our food so and i take this guy down <laughs> good game it might not be that bad of a choice but boom now our dps has literally skyrocketed we can go ahead and get that mana orb and the potion belt i would also like to have the piggy bank tbh but don't really have space for that right now um hmm you know why not why not up, go ahead and just upgrade our potion why not i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it for the sake of doing it real quick that can go like that and this can um go up there i guess like that that works for me you can go right there you can go right there and this guy can it can also go anywhere we don't need that much mana at the end of the day we only need like the two it gives or one because it only uses one so that's good for me <clears throat> my thing is i kind of want to get this piggy bank if i'm being completely honest even if i do get it though there's not like a spot realistically that i could put it unless i do it well there's a spot i could put it i would just have to probably sell the garlic in order to actually use it yeah let's do that let's sell the garlic get the piggy bank i could just move this down then like that um, and then this can just go over here. Like that. That works for me. That works for me. I think that's a better choice. All right. How are we doing? Going against a thorn whip with a... Uh, that's a fast storm. That is one fast storm whip. Okay. You didn't go poison? You went with the leaf? Don't know why you went with the leaf. I don't really see a point in you going with the leaf, but you went with the leaf. I don't know why they went with the leaf. Weird. But okay. I can't. I guess that works for you. I mean, we'll probably be taking this one home more than likely against what it was your name, Minna? Poor Minna. <laughs> Definitely gonna be taking this one home. Good game though. Good game. <laughs> um, we got another dagger. It's on sale. It's on sale. I feel like we should probably just go ahead and pick this up. It's on sale. Um, stamina sack. There we go. There goes the blood amulet. I mean, we could get another blood amulet or a blood uh bloody dagger. 
That might not be a bad choice. I say that's a good choice. Buy you roll. Stamina stack on sale, obviously. Gloves of haste on sale. Probably got to get that too. And there might be a way for me to actually fit all of these inside of this uh, little situation we got going on here. Considering we just freed up some space by combining the potion. If I get me another stamina potion, that'd be nice too. Um, let's see here. You can go there. We can move this down by one. That works for me. And you could just rotate this by one like that. That way we got all the daggers inside of the crit belt. That's that's my biggest concern, getting all the daggers inside of the crit bag. Um, should I go Dion? Oh, she's watching me. Hey, <laughs> heck yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's freaking dope. Get her into games, bro. Early early <laughs> um should i go i could go vampiric armor or i could go bloody dagger here i feel like i should go bloody dagger because bloody dagger directly helps me with the um directly helps with like survivability anyway so it's like a might as well type situation i just wonder if there's a way for him to min max this somehow i don't think so i'll just keep it there then oh we do need an activation though right there we're missing out on the activation on the um on a piercing arrow. Hmm. I could maybe just put the blueberry there like this. Do a little situation like that. And then this can just go there, I guess. Or honestly, this is probably a better spot for that. That way we can still get that activation, which is good. As she says she wants to uh, play overcooked, and you did her dirty. I did not! I did not! I swear. I mean, we could still play it one of these days. We could definitely still play it. I see how this goes. I'll tell my friend that way she'll know too. And we could just play it. What is she going to play it on? I think you play it on the same computer. I think that's the thing with Overcooked. Going against a Reaper with a bloody Goobert. Hmm. I'm going to be honest. Their build does not seem very fleshed out, but they do have two shields which is draining our stamina like crazy right now. Um, which is giving them time to build up that poison, which is pretty dangerous for us. It's actually very dangerous for us. That along with spikes is pretty much killing us. We need we need a better form of stamina generation because we're probably going to lose this due to stamina. For sure. I think we kill we, we pretty much we practically killed ourselves there. I say we killed ourselves. Um, we did get a health potion though, which is going to help. We might as well go ahead and turn that in. We can also do something like that instead. Um, we don't, well, I was going to say we don't really need a mana, mana, mana orb, but it's on sale. And I wouldn't mind having Vampiric Armor Moon Shield on the side. I, I mean, personally, I wouldn't mind. So I feel like I should. feel like I should um probably should I think I am I'm just gonna turn that like that instead um all right we're gonna buy that it's on sale might as well and I'm gonna go ahead and buy the mana orb as well and we could buy this too oh we don't have enough space for that though I mean kind of, yeah we do yeah we do yeah we do and then Gloves of Haste, that being on sale is just... I feel like that's just an obvious choice because it's on sale. Um, I just don't want the hammer to be too fast. That's the thing. And I don't want anything there. If the hammer is too fast, then it's bad. Right? Because... It uses up more stamina, especially going against someone with a shield. Like this guy, we probably this guy's gonna be a little bit uh, a lot harder to defeat. He's got double bloody, or he's got double um, what do you call it? Mana? Wait, no, 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 no. Hungry blades. He's got double hungry blades on a steel goober. He's got infinite regeneration as well with the spike shields. And our stamina is looking pretty bad right now. Look at our stamina. Look at that stamina. And we already used the stamina potion as well. 
So this is going to be pretty hard guy to defeat. However, our vampirism is, is coming in clutch. I'm going to be honest. When you see that vampirism hitting, it's it's coming in clutch. But those 46 criticals is dangerous. We just hit our health potion, which proc that stamina potion. Helped us out with our DPS slightly, but that stamina situation we got going on is... Oh, we're so close. Some dagger hits to kill him. Just a few dagger hits. Come on, just a few. Thank you. That was a close one. That was a close battle. Good game, though. Holy crap. We got a gingerbread Jerry. We got a Jerry. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Getting that one empowerment would be nice. And then all the other stats. We should probably get you. You're on sale. It wouldn't make sense to not get you, you know? Let's go ahead and turn that into a spectral dagger. Um. I could get the stone skin potion. And use that as another activation on the uh, the heroic potion, maybe. But six gold. I don't think I want to get it. Okay. I, I, we are slacking on stamina. We could get another banana. I would much rather have a rabbit. Much, 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 much rather have a rabbit. But the rabbit isn't showing their face to me right now. So I feel like I should get this. What do we need for this? Heat? Yeah, we're not going to be able to activate you anyways. But I guess the... The start of the battle is nice. That 40 uh, health you gain. Man, I kind of do want to get this banana, though. Kind of do want to get the banana. I'm going to get the banana. We'll just put you right there. Roll. Okay, another piggy is cool. I'll get that for the money. Roll. Um, Yeah, we might as well go ahead and do vampirism armor now. And if we run into the shield, then we can easily just go Moonshoe since we got double um, mana orbs. Going against a Reaper build with a Dark Saber. What debuffs are you putting on me, though? That's my question. I don't really see the debuffs you're putting on me, bro. Um, You don't have poison. You don't, you're don't. you not putting any debuffs on me except using your mana for the blind. But since we're a crit build with clovers... We should be fine, and we shouldn't uh, have a problem with accuracy. The only problem we have is with our stamina. But that's really about it. It's me, Tim. But yeah, that's really about it. We should be able to take this guy home. Yes, sir. Good game. Good game. Good game. Oh, there we go. There we freaking go. Let's go ahead and switch those two out. Um, and I think I want to have the spectral daggers on that uh, plus 30% critical damage. Main reason is because they gain that plus seven damage directly. And then we'll just have the. Well, I would love to do this, but. Since they're both vampiric items, that healing for four per vampiric item would be would be pretty nice. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, it would be pretty nice. Um. We don't have enough money for that. Oh, no, we don't. Yes, we do. Nine. What is that? 21? Oh, yeah. We definitely have enough money for both of you. Okay. Um. Hmm. How do I set this up with the piercing arrow and still be happy with myself? <laughs> don't know. I mean. Hmm. I could probably switch out this situation that I have with the the hammer right because i still have this star over here that i could use so technically i could do this like this would technically work and i'll still be able to achieve this which would be good for me and in the other activation we could just put that on like a banana or something which works right let's go ahead and turn into a vampiric armor you can go down here turn that into a moon shield um and as far as the hammer goes, we could put the hammer down here. Like that. That can go there. That can go there. Okay, so far so good. And now we're just worried about our food situation, I guess. I know that makes it a little bit slower, but I feel like it'll be fine. Um, 
I'm just trying to see if I can get as much space down here as possible in order to actually have a food situation. <laughs> Oh crap, I missed- well, no, 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 that's fine. I thought I messed that up, but no, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. And then we can just- let's see. Boom, boom. Boom. Okay. Okay. I think that'll be good. We're getting our combinations off. Um, we still got our stamina situation good. That's good, for the most part. Those are touching each other, okay. Eventually, I think I want to switch to let the armor be over here so it can also touch the bloody daggers. Right now, it's fine, but next round, I think we are probably going to switch that up a little bit. Going against... an uh, interesting build? Looks like a critical build with just uh, the mana thirst. Um, I say we should be fine, though, for the most part. I, I, I think we'll be straight. That was a beautiful hit from me. Beautiful stun right there. Hit him again. Hit him again. Nice. Game over. <laughs> good game. Hammer is nice, bro. Good game. Good game. Now we got our survivability survivability in check. Let's buy you. Roll. There we go. That's what I really wanted. That's what I really, really wanted right there. We can easily now just sell a banana for that. I think that's a play. Sell the banana. Get the Wapentinger. Could sell the Spike Shields down. Don't really need it anymore. Um, I think if I can do this instead i can get a nice little space right here which kind of works because i want to do that well no i can't do that because that has to go there and that's got to go like that damn unless i move this and then do that right here i mean that will work i think eat as feel fast Thank you for that. <laughs> um, we can switch that out. Okay, so boom. Realistically, I would like it there. That way they're all touching each other. And we could put this here like that. That works for me. All right, this is looking pretty solid right now. I'm thinking this is looking pretty solid. Let's switch this out. That can go down there. I mean, a Wapatinger could go down here, actually, instead of it being the shield. Switching this right here is probably better for any mana generation. We're going to generate mana anyways from Vampiric Armor, so we realistically don't even need the mana orb anymore. Um, and we just have these gloves for no reason. I mean, I could turn into a Vampiric Gloves for even more vampirism. That would work for me. Roll. There we go. Vampiric gloves on the play. Another stamina potion wouldn't be bad. I feel like this is solid. Okay. I feel like this is solid right here. Going against a Critwood staff build, Ruby Welp, with a bunch of daggers, bloody daggers at that, and a torch. I feel like we should be fine for the most part. Especially with the buffs that we're gaining now. And then the, uh, the the additional stamina generation. Even though our stamina is looking pretty bad right now. Um, once we do get that other stamina potion, we, we should be fine. Right? Oh, yeah. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Okay. Um, Vampire Gloves stamina potion can go there. I could also get the upgraded stamina potion. Because we do have a banana. We might as well. If I can figure out if I... Impossible to do that. I could get yes, yeah, getting the acorn collar would be. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I'm definitely gonna put one here once I sell or once I combine the banana. Just gotta figure out how I'm gonna combine the banana. That works, but mm, works, but it's not perfect. I'll just do this for now. Works, but it's not perfect. But that's fine. We should be okay with just this. Going against Mana Thirst. Double. That's a lot of heat you're going to have, bro. And you're getting an upgraded one, right? Yeah. He's getting himself an upgraded one. He's going to have him a big chunk next round. Interesting. Look at all those buffs he's got. Freaking nasty. Stamina's doing... I was about, just about to compliment my stamina. This dude doesn't have a shield, though. 
So there's that, but even so, my stamina's doing pretty nice. I say we can go ahead and maybe even upgrade the speed of our hammer at this point. I feel like stamina-wise, we're, we're, we're good. Especially having two stamina potions. I feel like stamina-wise, we're good. Buy you, we need space, roll. Getting some more space wouldn't be... Well, no, because the only space we need now is just that square. So, that's that. Okay. How am I going to... I mean, I can upgrade the speed by doing that. And then Walper Tinger there. Um, crit can go there. The only thing that matters with crit is probably the Spectral Daggers. The Bloody Daggers, they don't really matter when it comes to damage. They're just there to heal. Spectral Daggers is really what is, is the damage dudes, right? So... Maybe I only need to um, put the acorn collar on them, not really the bloody daggers or not even a hammer at that point. But okay, this is looking solid. This is looking solid. I could even go stone skin potion and just have stone skin potion get double activated from the heroic uh, potions. That might not be bad. Yeah, I think that would be a good play. Something like that. Just like even more survivability. Do we even need a third one though? I don't really think we need a third one, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we really need a third one. We have two of these. Plus the Whopper Tinger. I mean, I, it wouldn't hurt having a third one. So yeah, let's get a third one just because it wouldn't hurt having a third one. Getting a piggy bank could be nice for next round just to get that extra gold from this guy. I don't know where I would put it, but it would be nice. Um, and then a heart container would just be good just to have, I think. It would just be nice. Oh, they actually changed it. Your healing is increased by 15% now. It's not 20%. Wow. And it's 80 maximum health instead of 100 maximum health. Wow, they nerfed it just a slight... I think I'm gonna buy this next round. How much gold are we getting? 15? So we'll get 18. Oh, that'll be perfect. Okay. Well, no, 15, 16, 17. We'll be down by one. We'll see what happens. We'll see what oh no, we get extra gold from the piggy bank anyways, or the lucky pig. So yeah, we, we should be straight. Going against Ooh. This is a scary build right here. A critting bloodthorn with infinite regeneration, having double heart containers plus the uh Wapatingers helping out with that buffs as well. But we got a pretty nasty build ourselves. To be honest. Um, so maybe we might be fine. We already got him low health. We still got a stamina potion being used. Boom. Just proc. So now just going to come down to our raw stamina generation. Plus, look at all that vampirism we have. Plus the empowerment. I'm mad you didn't crit right there, but that's a good game. That's a freaking good game. 80 HP and 15 extra health is still a lot. It is still a lot. I wasn't expecting them to nerf it, though. I mean, personally, I didn't have any problems with it. Um... So I wasn't expecting them to really nerf it. Kind of surprised that they did. Low key. But I still think it's a good item. And I kind of want to get it myself. <laughs> I'm getting it just to get it. Literally, like, I don't really think there's a reason for me to get it. Considering, you know what, we don't... We're not a Bloodthorn build, but... Okay. It helps! Especially if I can get that, um... If I can get the get it the proc... I mean, I guess it helps with vampirism. If I can get it the proc, I just I don't have anything that gives me regeneration except this thing itself. Wait, no, my um gingerbread Jerry gives me regeneration. So once that procs, I'll have enough. And it okay, never mind. Gingerbread Jerry gives me regeneration. And all I need is the bunny to proc for a gingerbread jerry to proc, and that's gonna help the, the heart container to proc. And next you know, I got 500 health with 18 vampirism getting 15% maximum healing. And it's just great. With my 11 empowerment, while these things are doing 16 to 17 damage per, it's just great. It's new and fun, so you might as well. Yeah, true. So the only thing that's holding this build back at this point is probably stamina. So getting like another bunny would be good. Um, We got three stamina potions. I don't think getting more stamina potions or I mean, it could help getting more stamina potions, but I, f I just feel like getting the Whopper Tingers is probably going to help us out more versus getting more stamina potions. Um, and like this dude only had one shield, so like, yeah. 
Dude made a beast build. Yeah, this build is pretty nasty. I'm gonna be honest. I just wish it was just stamina, bro. That's that's the only thing I'm worried about right now is stamina. Give me another, give me another bunny. And I'll be I'll be I'll be happy. But this is a I'm gonna be honest, this is a pretty nice build. This is a pretty nice damn build. Um Whoa, could we proc? Gin lap? Could this be vital? The only thing we're lacking on would probably be Pierce. Or thorns, pierce, spikes, thorns, whatever, all the same. Well, not pierce, actually, no. But the only thing we're missing is spikes slash thorns. Um, which this guy will generate. The buddy's gonna generate that. I mean, we're getting infinite block. Um, we got the piercing arrow for the clovers. We have moon shield and mana orb for the mana generation. If it procs, what are we gonna put it on? Probably just one of the spectral daggers, right? One shield in a dream. <laughs> and it's on sale, so you might as well. It might be a bit slow. Oh, yeah, it's definitely going to be slow. The only thing I will have to wait on would probably be the, the Pierce. I'm going to get it just because it's on sale, honestly. But the only thing I'd probably have to wait on is the Pierce. That's really about it. But hopefully the Bunny plus the Dijon Lump can generate enough Pierce for it to be, you know, for it to actually proc. Ooh. Should I get it? Where would I put it if I get it? Where would it go? I feel like right here would be pretty solid. As long as it's on the hammer, that's the only thing I really like care about is the fact that it's on the hammer. It's also on all the daggers, which is kind of nice, but mainly on the hammer. Um, like, that wouldn't be a good spot. Yeah, right here would be a good spot. I'm gonna get it. Oh, yeah, true. Stamina is already issue. You right? <laughs> but I got it anyway. <laughs> Fucking got it anyways. Um let's switch this out. Put that there. So I can still use gingerbread Jerry. This counts as a pet, right? This is a pet. Damn. That could have been nice. I don't know how the heck I would even use that. Unless I put it here. I gotta know where to put vampire gloves now though. It makes hammer slower, so hammer would be slower, but all the daggers will be faster. I might burst through a bird. <laughs> Just fucking. <laughs> after that burst is over with. If the opponent is not dead after that burst. Oh yeah, it's over with. <laughs> Is there a better way I could set up my um my potions? Like should I just do this instead or or maybe just this? Survivability. This would be survivability. And I feel like if we need more stamina, it would probably be this cuz that, that's proccing all the above potions. So I feel like this would just be better this right here. Less survivability but more proc or more stamina that I'm gaining, I believe. Um Yep. All right, I'm rolling with this. I'm rolling with this. I'm gonna turn it down. Just a slight, slight little, little point three. Going against, looks like just a, a rip shot build. With a little bit of damage increase from the mana orb situation, he's gonna have a lot of shield as well. That's a lot of, um, that's a lot of potions he's got going on. He does have a hammer, which is disgusting. And our stamina's already taken a hit. But our spectral dagger should just say, fuck your block. Your block means nothing to us, right? Right, Spectral Daggers? Right, 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 right. That's what I, that's what I like to see, Spectral Daggers. I see that with that 68 critical that you got. Okay, that's fine, though. That's fine. I still got one stamina potion to use. There we go. Four health. Take him out. Okay, a little bit more than four health, but still, come on. One health, come on. He, he should have died five minutes ago. Kill this man. Kill this man. There we go. <laughs> I was about to say, there's no way.
one health. He fucking one health went up to 18. I was about to, bro, if I, <laughs> if you didn't die, I was going to start yelling. Um, you won't be doubling up on the armor just because it will, it will proc at turn. Start from vampirism armor and the stamina point. Wait, wait. <laughs> huh? Okay, you won't be doubling up on armor just because it will proc at turn start from vampirism armor. Okay, and then the stamina potion won't see it, so the order doesn't make a difference. 